we're gonna go back to the uh, the loops that we did um, and I want to show you one thing about uh, seg faults and out of bounds exception so if you remember correctly uh, the error case number two this is where we get an out of bounds exception and the whole program stops and we could either break or continue so uh, let's uh, re re-summarize there is hello world it's a simple hello world application and this is just outputting a message array saying hello world and then done if we run it it will give us a uh, unhandled exception val access violation reading location so basically this means it's an out-of-bounds exception but sometimes it's really not apparent what the error message is and as you can see um, when the cause uh, the compiler or the program has stopped executing it's going to a different library called stream buffer and this really does not tell you anything about what your program is actually uh, where in your program is actually breaking so there's one way to kind of slowly uh, debug this and it's called call stack and what a call stack is is say um, if you call a series of commands or functions this will allow um, this will put it in the stack so if function one calls function two then the bottom of the stack would be function one and then function two and if function two calls another function it will keep stacking it so you you could trace all the calls to the point of origin so what you want to do here if you ever run into a seg fault or an access violation or anything like kinda has this low message appearing when you try to run your program you will have to break it which means stop the program we're gonna try to kinda debug it and as you can see it's <coughs> in the uh, stream buffer library which we don't want so we could go ahead and close this and we'll go back to here um, at the bottom of here there's a, the output window there's a series of tabs you could go through a command window immediate window what we're gonna be focusing on is this call stack so you can see that the first few kind of roles don't really mean anything it's calling into a dot doo library um, and you can see here the pointer is that right now that this is where it stopped where the program broke or paused so if you keep tracing it back and the further back is the fur the it's going to be the point of origin and you can see here it's saying it's in the main in line 44 so all right so this takes us to this exact um, line where it's going uh, where it broke so you could see all right you, you could I guess you could watch it, yes. Uh, watch the case. So i equals 5. And um, something I would do in this case, because if the error isn't apparent, apparent, is you can start stepping through the program, stepping over, um, which might not work correctly. But another thing you could do is stop the program since you know that this line is what's causing the seg fault or the out of bounds exception, and you could break it at this line. And then you could watch what i is, because i is the iterator to that, or at least i is the constant that's changing. Um, so we're going to break it and start the program again. So it's on here. We're going to watch I, which we already have watched. So uh, we're going to step through it. So looks like nothing's broken. 
and then the next step is one, two, three, four, five, and bam, it's giving you a validation because it, it has five elements, but you're starting from zero to five, which means on the fifth, uh, where i is five, it's actually going on to the sixth index or or sixth element, which doesn't exist. So it's trying to put, locate memory that there's nothing there. So that's why it's breaking. Um, and stepping through that helps. And I mean, if you have a really big, ugly for loop with like a lot of code, like other code here and other code here. It might be easier to set a breakpoint here, watch it, and then hit continue. So what it does is it will run through the for loop and break again at that specific location. So if I run it through, that's one, two, three, four. And again, you could you could highlight the whole statement here or the whole uh, array, and you'd see that right now it's at done and done is the last element and then if we do it one more time it's going to cause that break so it stops here it hasn't executed this line yet but already you could go highlight this and it says a bad pointer so that means there's nothing there there's no memory so if you try to run this code and you try to output it it's going to be bad um, output and the whole thing breaks so and there you go. There you can find it, and you can fix it by uh, you could go uh, p changing the six to a five, which means it will stop before five, before it, um, after right when it uh, outputs done. All right. Thank you.